everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is my most recent ready to ship haul from L3. So let's get started. Um, this one, I'm, this was a sale. I think it was the Friday before my surgery, which was on 1121. So this is, um, just, a, it's a small order relative, relatively, relatively small compared to some of my other orders in the past but um I wanted to talk about this because there's a lot of good a lot of good ones in here so okay L3 from Junction City Oregon owned by Jennifer Westing I love L3 she just had an incredible set of sales she had her uh, Black Friday sale which was buy four clams get one free she had a buy three loaves get one free on small business Saturday and she had for Cyber Monday yesterday 30% off her whole entire website. So great sales. Um, I bought a couple of items on uh, the clams and I got um, <clears throat> a couple of loaves and a perfume. But that, um, whenever that ships, which I, I have a feeling maybe if they are done with the pre-order, which I think she said they are, except one oil is a little lagging behind a little bit for Vanilla Snowflake. Um, she probably might, I don't know for sure, but she might combine our pre-orders and these sales. I'm not sure. I can't, uh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm speculating that because she's done that in the past. But if she doesn't, don't hold me to it, of course. So, <clears throat> okay, in here I got a bunch of trig tarts because if you watch me, especially my L3 videos, I love to blend. And I just, you know, sometimes I don't really want a complicated scent going in. I mean, I love complex scents. I'm all for it. But some days I just want something plain. You know, for example, gingerbread or cranberry or something like that. And then I can play and experiment with breaking off just a small little piece of each and putting in my warmers and seeing if that works, excuse me. So let's get started. Um, pipe smoke. Today is October 3rd. This is a bougie bar. So this one here, uh, today is October 3rd is Palo Santo, sugar cookie, Royale and toasted marshmallow. And then pipe smoke is, you know, of course that tobacco, that tobacco, that tobacco, um, sweet tobacco that I mean I love so I haven't had pipe smoke alone though I have had her tobacco and I have had her grandpa's pipe which is cherry and tobacco that was a nice one too but this one right now I'm pretty much only smelling today it's October 3rd with that that Palo Santo is the first thing I recognize in this but then also I'm getting a little something extra that does not belong to October 3rd. So I'm pretty sure that's the pipe smoke. But this one here is still freshly pured. Um, I'll let this cure a while and see if those, if those notes can come alive a little bit more. Next, I got two of these. This was one of my requests. Banana brown sugar kolaches. Now, I, I love banana. I love brown sugar. I love kolaches. And this, this reminds me of, you know, I had, I had one of these... Um, I've, I've had this before. In fact, I, you know, I forgot that I've had this before. I've melted so much stuff and I have have melted so much L3. I actually forgot that I've had this. I was scooping around the page and I found somebody was talking about this and I thought, mm, I have to try that and come to find out I have had it before, but that's okay. I have plenty here for a while. This one, this one Smells like, I'm thinking, this one smells like banana nut bread with a little bit of spice. Even though it's not banana nut bread, it still has that quality to it. It has banana and the sweetness from the brown sugar. And then you have that punch of bakery from the kolaches. And I really like that. The kolaches, she does it and mix with anything. I had a custom of mine where I had that oil added into a pistachio blend. She does it with strawberry a lot. And I've seen other... I can't think right now. Blueberry. I've seen, she had a kolache sampler last year too that was fantastic. And this one, if you like, if you like anything bakery wise and you like banana and you like that, that warm feeling, that warm bakery, give this one a try. My husband is downstairs watching the World Cup USA and Iran. Um, so I thought he was yelling for me a second ago. Okay. He doesn't know I'm doing this video right now. I didn't holler down and tell him. 
uh, I went to the I went to the doctor this morning for my first post-op, got my bulky, big-ass bandage off of my foot, and I feel, my foot feels a little bit normal in my boot, <laughs> as much as normal can feel with this boot on, but uh, my incisions look great, everything's healing good, I just have the fun part of starting to build strength back up in my foot and my calf, so that's what's happening with me. Next, double espresso ice cream. Um, I haven't seen her pour this for quite some time and I've never had it, but I love, I love coffee as I, as I've said many times. This is, this is espresso. It's strong espresso, but it does have that vanilla in there, that vanilla ice cream to tone that down, to make it a little bit smoother. So if you're someone who really doesn't like coffee or they, you know, you find it bitter smelling or stinky or, or, you know, skunky I've, I've heard that that term before you would like this one because it does have that smoothness of the ice cream to give creaminess and to give a little bit of sweetness to it um, I like this I'm going to get this one of these going I bought two because I just love coffee I'm going to get this going nice that'll be nice for the holiday time you know you could even you know a lot of times people serve dessert with coffee and you could have coffee, some coffee blend, doesn't have to be this one, of course, but just any sort of coffee blend going with a bakery in the background. And it's just fantastic. I've done that a lot of times too. Okay, next, this is a new blend to me. This is Horcrux, you know, Harry Potter. Uh, this is Sensual Amber, Whipped Vanilla, Patchouli, Pink Orchid, and Coconut Milk. So a complex blend. This one... I really like this and it's it's unfortunately it's tough to describe because I, I am getting the orchid and I am but but this is not a floral scent there's enough other stuff going on in here that it tones that orchid down but orchid is such a beautiful oil and I don't see it used very often but it's beautiful to me and um, that coconut milk I love coconut milk I actually got it in a trig tart here I, I I love coconut milk it gives a little extra something that little bit of different creaminess to so many blends but the amber I'm getting the amber I get a little bit of the sweet patchouli and I do get the orchid and I do get the coconut milk that's why I wanted to I saw this and I thought I haven't had this before but this is a it's a it's a pretty fragrance I would say that this is pretty it could be it kind of reminds me of boom boom where it's not it's not bakery it's not savory it's it's a pretty perfume it's complex so that's that's what this reminds me of okay next is another coffee one espresso oatmeal cookies now this i love i love and i love espresso and i love jen has so many coffee oils she has cafe cubano she has coffee bean she has coffee house she has espresso she has roasted coffee which is fantastic i love roasted coffee and she probably has some more in there i'm not thinking of espresso uh double espresso i don't know if double espresso ice cream is one single oil or if it's multiple i'm not sure um but this one here espresso espresso dominant definitely but you do have that oatmeal cookie in the background that unmistakable little bit of spice a little bit of warmth of the that bakery to tone the coffee down just slightly but this is this is heavy heavy coffee but it's got that bakery aspect to it too okay next I'll keep with the bunts. This is the last bunt. This is different <laughs> than those. This is Fraser Fur flannel sheets. So I went on the, sorry, there's something in my eye. I went on the laundry road here. Um, but this one, I've seen this poured several times and I never grabbed it. But this one, this is very good. I love flannel sheets. Flannel sheets is one of my favorite laundry oils. It's strong. It's fresh. It's it can be mixed with just about anything. It's it's a very versatile laundry fragrance. It's not fruity. It's not. It's just it's just clean laundry. So I do get a little bit of the fur, the flannel, the the Fraser fur. I do get that, but the it's not. It complements the laundry so well. It's not bathroom pine. It's not pine salt. It's not air freshener. Um, it's nice, and I know. When this cures a little bit more and this warms up, this will be nice. So I'm going to have this going. I'm going to put this in my Christmas tote to actually melt 
um, you know, throughout the winter season to give that little bit of freshness. So that's a good one. Okay, I did get a couple of the gingerbread houses, which I bought several of these, and I do have uh, some coming in the pre-order back from October, these little um, gingerbread houses. Let's start with a blend I have had before. I fell in love with this blend. Um, Lori, when, back when I was on my very first custom list months ago, you know, earlier this year, I wanted a coffee blend and Lori uh, Brown had, you know, we were talking and she said, Jen used to have a blend called Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk that I haven't seen in a long time. So I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try. I love it. So when I submitted my first custom list, um, I, you know, I said, Jen, I've been told you have this blend and it's fantastic, but it hasn't been poured in a while. Do you still have the oils? And she said, yeah, I actually do. You know, I kind of forgot about this blend. And it's like both Lori and I put this on our customs list and it's been, it's poured regularly now because it's been such a screamer hit. Uh, this is fantastic. Um, how I would describe this is Cuban, ca Cuban coffee, you know, actual Cuban coffee is is a, a, there it's cuban coffee with brown sugar that's how you can get it in cuba how you can get it in little havana in miami how you that's cuban coffee is from what i understand so i do smell coffee and i do get a sweetness of brown sugar but you do get a slight spiciness from the spices that are in oat milk and i could i could this is kind of similar. It's not like chai. It's not those chai spices with that with that um, that spiced drink. It's different. It, it's this is this is one that I think you would have to smell to see. Oh yeah, I do get that. I do get that spice, but it's not cinnamon. It's not. I don't. I don't quite know what the spiced part of oat milk is, but I love this. I have this in multiple forms scoops, loaves, puppy packs, bunts. I, I have a lot of this because it's just so good. It can be used any time of year. It can be blended well with bakery. It can be blended well. I would even put blueberry with this, with fruit with this. I just, I like, I like to play with my blending. So this has the little details here on the gingerbread houses and they all, they all have them. Like it's a little easier to see on the lighter colored ones, but this one is this will be a constant repurchase for me because this is a wonderful coffee blend. So if you are lucky enough to grab this, I know it usually sells out. Uh, she also did offer Cafe, she calls it Cafe C because, you know, pay, PayPal or something's weird and it, you know, triggers it thinking you're selling Cuban cigars or something like that. So it's, um, this is a nice one. Grab this when you have a chance. Okay, next one is, this. these are... The rest of my gingerbread houses, the two I have here, these are new blends to me. This is Dominican Republic. You can you can see more of the detail on the gingerbread house here. I'm, I don't want to take it out of the bag here. Uh, this is exotic blend of pineapple and coconut with vanilla sandalwood. And why I was attracted to this is because I love pineapple and I love coconut. And... Vanilla sandalwood I actually have in a clam. One of my very first orders from L3 was clams last year. And I haven't used very much of them because I frankly forgot I bought them because I had them in another storage area in my home. So when I found my clams, I have vanilla sandalwood and it's it's a great fragrance. Sandalwood is that it's not incense-y, but some people do put it in the incense category. Um, it's It's earthy. It's very fragrant, but when you put the vanilla with it, it makes it a little bit sweeter and it's it's very blendable. So I thought I would try this because one, I've never seen this blend before. And two, I love pineapple and I love coconut. This works. This is tropical, it's creamy. It's got a little bit of exoticness to it with that sandalwood, but not but just just a slight. This is nice. I really, really, really like this one. I'm glad I grabbed that. And last house I have is Egyptian Amber Palo Santo Olive Branch Type. Now, I don't really remember what all is in Olive Branch Type. That's a lush fragrance, but I don't remember what's all in it. So this one, see the detail on that too. I'm in my office again because, you know, I can't sit on the floor 
right now. So the glare is coming in here. That's why I don't have my glasses on either. This smells nice. I definitely get the Egyptian Amber. Amber is a very strong fragrance and I like it mixed with the Palo Santo, but the olive branch, I wish I knew what olive branch smelled like alone. So I could really tell you how much potency is there from the olive branch, but I definitely smell the Amber. This is a unique fragrance. I, I mean, it's going to be complex when it's warmed up too. So I'll look up the notes for Olive Branch. So when I do get around to doing my empties video, when I do melt this, whenever I do, um, I can tell you more about it. I do have an empties video coming up. Um, I, I did one for September and then I went out of town in October. So I didn't have a couple of weeks of melting. And so I have the rest of my fall empties I'm going to be filming this week. So when I start melting Christmas and holiday on Thursday, um, I will switch over to all of those types of blends. I'm actually going to be doing a collection video also. Um, I'm going to have to film it here and it's going to be a little cumbersome because I have a lot in my basket. But I wanted to get that up because uh, December is here, guys. It's here. So that's what's on in uh, on tap for me. Okay, um, now I have my trig tarts, and I am going to be uh, reducing the amount of wax buying that I am doing. You know, I do have I I, I do have my surgery now. I have to you, you know pay for partially, and I might have to have a second surgery on my foot next year, depending on um, how I heal from this one and if I'm still having my symptoms. Uh, I, I think I mentioned that in one of my other my other videos. Um, so I potentially have that in the future. So I'm, I'm scaling back on buying and not only that guys, I really could not buy wax for a year, maybe a year and a half. And I would have still have some left over. I have a lot of wax and I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. So, um, I know Danny has made it, uh, open that she's doing the same thing. You know, her and her husband want to want to save more and they want to do some things. And my husband and I are like that also. We love to travel. We love to do things. And we also want to, we, you know, we, we live on a budget and we are going to be doing a, you know, new budget for the year, of course, but I'm going to be, so you won't see as many hauls from me. Um, I'm going to buy from three or four vendors and I'm going to um, be really particular with what I buy, but I, L3 will be on the list. I am not going to give up L3, but I just won't have as many hauls as I do uh, now. So just wanted to tell you that I, I am going on a low buy. So uh, to make up for that, I will, I'm going to start doing melting basket videos of what I'm going to be melting the week and then every couple of weeks do an empties video. I think I'm going to do that just so I can keep, you know, talking about scents and shopping, my, shopping my stash basically. So because we all have wax we've bought and we kind of forgot we bought it or, oh man, I forgot I bought this scent kind of a thing. So it's kind of like shopping, you know, it's like shopping in your closet and cleaning out your closet and wearing new things that you forgot you have that still have the price tags on them kind of thing. Yeah, I know a lot of us can relate to that. So just a little update. Cinnamon sticks. I know cinnamon scares a lot of you and a lot of you don't like cinnamon because it can be too overpowering, too spicy, too much. But I got this because I have several scents that I have um, I have several scents that I want to throw a little bit of spice into and a little bit of cinnamon. So when I saw she offered this, I grabbed it because I, I, this is a spicy cinnamon. It's not red hot candy. It's not hot tamales. It's not anything like that, but it, it, it is spicy cinnamon, but it's more potpourri, potpourri cinnamon. So I grabbed this. <coughs> just for blending purposes, because I myself, I don't like just straight hot cinnamon wax. I never have. I like it blended with something, but blended tastefully, if that makes sense. So I got that. Next, I got two of Sparkling Pear Riesling. Now, I think I saw this in the group when I was snooping around looking for stuff for my customs. I saw sparkling pear Riesling that was poured a while, a while ago. So, <coughs> excuse me. 
This is a Bath and Body Works dupe. It was an oil, a candle that was out several falls ago. Um, I don't know if it was COVID year or if it was 2019. It was one of those two years. Sparkling Pear Riesling. Riesling is a wine. Riesling is one of my favorite wines. It's semi-sweet to my tongue. It can be dry, but it's one of my favorite wines. But when you put pear with it, it just complements it so well. So when I saw that, I asked Trish if you guys still have sparkling pear Riesling. And she said, let me look. And she said, yes, we do. And I said, well, can you pour it in some form coming up? Because I'd like to have some. I love that candle. I have one candle of it left in my arsenal. And I don't have... I don't have a desire to light it because I, I don't know why I buy my stuff. I want to use my stuff because you never know when your expiration date's coming. So I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy my candles, my wax. So I'm not hoarding anything. So this buying this will help dip my toe back into the pool of wanting to use my solitary candles. But this one I don't, I don't get any effervescence, you know, from the Riesling part, but I do get that it is a drink. It has that drink quality to it. And the pear is just clean. It's crisp. It's refreshing. I'm going to melt this and see what, how it, how it morphs on warm, just because this, this can, the candle throws beautifully. It's just a beautiful, warm, comforting, fresh fragrance. So Hopefully this fits the bill too. I think it will because it's this, it smells the same. Okay, coconut milk. I talked about coconut milk when I talked about Dominican Republic. But this one, it has, it's creamy coconut. It's not sweet coconut. It's not straight, you know, coconut, like putting your nose in a bag of shredded coconut. It's not like that. It's coconut milk. It's that heaviness, that cream, that fatty, that fatty milk that comes from the coconut. And I love this because I got this to blend, of course. That smells good. It's, it's very light. It's not overpowering. It's, it's not, um, it blends very well with things. So there's that one. Then I grabbed a cranberry. Cranberry doesn't need an introduction. Cranberry is fantastic. And this is a fantastically strong tart cranberry. Jen has a few cranberry oils in her in her shop. She has cranberry marmalade, a cranberry, and then there's a cranberry, there's a cranberry orange something, I think. And there might be one more. She told us, but I don't remember all of them. A cranberry marmalade. There was a there was a, a cranberry sampler that was offered um, recently. You can do it. And then there was a cranberry marmalade sampler offered last fall that I actually bought and it was great. But cranberry itself, this is just like cranberry juice. It's tart, a little bit sweet, but it's tart. And it's that little, it's concentrated. This, if this is kind of like pomegranate, if you like pomegranate, it's that juicy, rich, bold fruit. This is great. Um, I would, I got this to blend with many things. Gingerbread. <clears throat> it's gingerbread season. I like a good gingerbread. I love ginger snaps. Ginger snaps are one of my favorite cookies. This this is this smells like a nice rich molasses heavy gingerbread it doesn't have yes it has spice there but it's not completely just ginger spice and the spices at all are in gingerbread gingerbread <coughs> sorry guys i have to start filming with water next to me i think um Gingerbread is a complicated bread to make. It's It has molasses. It has a ton of spices. It has a lot of moisture in it. You have to bake it, but it's fantastic. I love soft gingerbread. I'm not a gingerbread cookie. I've never made a gingerbread house in my life. Um, I think at my work, they're doing a gingerbread decorating contest, and I was like, WTF, because I've never... <laughs> 
what, what, what are they, where are we going to be doing these? What do they expect us to do? Kind of a thing. And I'm not participating. I've never built a gingerbread house in my life and I ain't starting now at my age. So, and I'm definitely not doing it at work, but anyways, gingerbread, I loved, I, but I've, I've, I've made gingerbread cookies. I have made gingerbread orange cupcakes with cream cheese frosting by my favorite chef, Ina Garten. I love Ina Garten. I would love to meet her. Of anybody in anybody in the cooking world, there are three people I would love to meet. This is just a tip about me. I also love to cook. I love to bake. Part of me was going to postpone my surgery until January so I could bake for the holidays. You know, I do bake and send my dad stuff. But my three people in the cooking world that I would love to meet. Number one, Andrew Zimmern. I love Andrew Zimmern. He, I would go around the world with him and eat anything. He could get me to eat a piece of garbage. I really would go around the world with Andrew Zimmern. Two, Michael Simon. I love Michael Simon. I follow him on Facebook. I follow him on Instagram. He's just, he's fun. He's brilliant at his barbecuing. He's brilliant all over. He is just, he's spectacular. And three is Ina Garten. I have always loved Ina Garten. I have almost every one of her cookbooks. And I made, uh, when I first moved to Utah, I made her gingerbread cupcakes, homemade everything. Gingerbread cupcakes with cream cheese frosting, gingerbread orange cupcakes. They were phenomenal. They took me half the day to make, but they were fantastic. I love soft gingerbread. So enough of the tangent. This reminds me of soft gingerbread. It's warm. It's slightly spicy. It has the, has the molasses to it. You can smell the moisture almost. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but some of you that bake, you can smell the moisture. So that, this is fantastic to me. I'm glad I snagged this. Gingerbread can be, it is, it's a bakery, of course. It can be blended with a lot of stuff too. So next, peppermint. I've already used a piece of this, peppermint. This is just straight peppermint. It's a little medicinal, a little sweet. It's a great peppermint. I don't, I don't have to tell you guys about peppermint because you all know peppermint's peppermint. It's not candy cane. It doesn't have enough sugar in it to be like candy cane peppermint, but it's peppermint nonetheless. Next is sandalwood. I got sandalwood because like I was talking earlier, sandalwood, see this sandalwood, I mean, you can, there's, in, there's incense in the world, but you can have different scented incense. There's patchouli. There is ylang ylang. There's sandalwood. There is, what's my favorite one? Oh, I can't even remember right now. I haven't, I haven't lit a piece of incense in years. I used to, I grew up with incense. I grew up with it in my house. I, you know, I, I have an uncle that's from the Philippines and he introduced it to me when I was young and I've, I've, I love I, I just, I, I love incense. So sandalwood is a nice incense. It has those qualities, but it also has, it's not as strong and heady as patchouli is, in my opinion. Patchouli is the quintessential incense scent, in my opinion. But this is a, it's a, it's a nice sandalwood. You could blend this with vanilla, like vanilla sandalwood, to give a little bit of complexity to a scent. Um, I would melt this. I, I mean, I experiment a lot, of course. I would melt this with coconut. I would put this. I would put this with anything that's earthy, like ivory soap. I know that's not earthy, but I would put this with soaps. I would put this with, of course, patchouli. You can put this with lush stuff. This would be. This is a great experimenter, in my opinion. Okay, two more left, my laundries. Clean cotton. Somebody requested this to be poured and I grabbed one because I haven't had clean cotton in quite some time. This is nice, it's a strong cotton scent. I would say the other, the, um, the uh, flannel sheets that I have, the Fraser Fur flannel sheets, that's a little bit more, oh my goodness, that is laundry. This is a little bit more fresh. Yes, it's laundry, but it has a fresher, it's a fresher take on, on laundry. 
Finally, my favorite, Snuggle. I love Snuggle. My mom didn't use Snuggle when I was growing up. I think she used Downy. But Snuggle, when I go to the store, even though I'm, I'm using Final Touch right now for fabric softener, but my favorites are Downy. I think it's Downy. Downy. I like the I like the Downy Vanilla Lavender. I do love that one, but I like the Downy. What what scent is it? It's not, it's not the April Fresh. It's one of the other ones they have. I can't remember. I haven't had it in a while. But I love Snuggle. I'll just go down the laundry aisle and just sniff a bottle of Blue Smart Blue Sparkle Snuggle, which is what I think this is, and it just it's it's so good to me. It's that. Oh, I love this. I am not going to blend this. I'm just going to melt this alone because that's what I bought it for. I love Snuggle. I love a good laundry scent. Okay, this video is a little bit longer than I want it to be, but you know, I go into a lot of detail for you guys about these scents. That's the fun part. Okay, my samples. Apple cinnamon, hot apple pie, mallow fluff. This one would be pretty self-explanatory. That's a nice apple pie. You really get it. It kind of smells like a can of apple filling. You know, you take that, you take that can off that the lid off and you get that punch of sweet apple with a little bit of cinnamon poured into your crust. Oh, that's good. I really do like this. I'm going to have to make an apple pie now. <laughs> I don't have I only have one pie crust in my refrigerator. I don't have a second one. Um, that's one thing I have never made in my life is homemade pie crust. I, I, I will make just about anything, but I have not made pie crust in my life. I know. Luna. I'm not sure what's in Luna. And I, and if you watch me, you know that it, uh, telling you what's in a scent, I'm bad at that unless it's completely obvious. So Luna I'll look up what's in Luna and I'll melt this pretty soon to tell you what that one's all about. And finally, lavender buttercream frosting. This one's pretty self-explanatory. That's a nice herbal lavender mixed with a little bit creamy sweetness from the buttercream frosting. So that's this edition of my L3 haul. Um, I, like I said, I have another one coming with my pre-order and, um, uh, well this past week's sale then with my pre-order and then that's going to be a little, uh, it for a little while for me for L3. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great Tuesday and I'll